Um, but Jeff Goodman had a uh, a pod release earlier where he asked, "Is Penny the right guy for Memphis or right guy at Memphis for the future?" What are your feelings on that statement? I mean, just who else that? are you getting? I, no, I mean, I look. I am someone who has bounced back and forth on this for the longest time ever. I'll, I'll be honest. It's just, it's the same thing. Like, you lose some games you shouldn't have, but then you are competitive in games that perhaps you probably shouldn't be. Questionable things that, like, maybe I just disagree with. But I mean, we've gotten to the tournament. Things are looking good this year. I, I think it's kind of hard to make a call and say that, like, hell no, move away from Penny. Like, it's so it's so hard to make that call right now. I don't know who you would hire. You're about to have Ole Miss open. You're about to have. Um, <laughs> Which they think Penny's a possibility. No, he's Get not. Out of here. That's, that's Chris Beard, right? This is beside the point. That's Chris Beard, right? Anyway, so. I don't know. Memphian, local Memphian, Doc Holiday. Everybody knows Doc. Doc goes at him, comes right at Goodman's throat. Love it. Um, so he came back. I'm trying to read the, the tweet itself. Where Jeff Goodman said, Memphis fans are okay with potentially going to the tournament, one, going to one tournament in five years and winning one NCAA tournament in four years. Is that a fair statement? I mean, I mean yes, it, it is. it is factual, but I think that's, but keep, I don't think keeping was ran I don't think keeping Penny it. means that you're okay with that. Sure. I don't think anybody's okay with. I mean, yes, we've been we've underachieved, given the talent he's brought in. There's also been some outstanding circumstances that have played into this. But sure, you gotta you gotta. I have to remind myself too. Like he's a first time head coach. This is literally the fifth year. He has coached college basketball. Like, yeah, it's going to take him a little bit to implement his culture and figure things out. He's learning as he goes. And you can see that it's evident in different things. But sure, I think it all boils down to like, I mean, who's better fit for the job? Yeah. I He's mean, getting I, I talent. Don't... He knows basketball. He's capable of coaching kids to be elite defenses. We've seen that offensively. This was a team that people worried about offensively coming in the year. And here we are like the best offense in the conference. Like, I just don't know who else would be a right fit. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's hard to hold the one tournament in five years thing over his head. Right. I mean, that James Wiseman, precious that you would team like, had you had that whole team the entire year, like, there's no telling where you would have ended up, right? Yeah. Now, granted, to your point, yeah, the the circumstances kind of – extenuating circumstances kind of play a part of that. But I do think you have to hit a road of consistency. Not that I think Penny would get fired by any means, right? I think his uh, his long-term goal is probably the NBA. It's just an He's NBA leaving guy. on his terms. Exactly. He will leave on his terms – uh, and we'll just kind of see how this thing plays out, and we'll cross that road when we get there. But I, this is just Goodman being Goodman, right? I think that's what we can talk this up as. I mean, look, you can. Am I happy being in one tournament in the first no. four years? No, but that also doesn't mean that I don't think that Benny's not sure the future of the basketball program. Like, yeah, I can see improvements. I can see his team getting better. Like, yeah. Am I frustrated we haven't won the conference yet and we play in a two bid league? Yeah. Oh, Am I frustrated yeah. we've had two number one classes and didn't do anything but win one NCAA tournament game? Yeah. But he's also only in his fifth year of coaching. So shit happens. Beautifully, beautifully worded, my man. Jeff Goodman's a freaking goober. Don't ever come on here and read a Jeff Goodman tweet to me ever again. Well, that was more so to incite conversation because I think it is a good question, right? I think that if you were to ask some Tiger, well, I think if you ask some Tiger fans, they would say like, "Hey, Penny's underachieved." Like, you know, is yeah, this really I don't the think guy that's that even debatable? Like he himself has said that he's underachieved. Like if you're yeah. debating that we've underachieved in the last four years, you're just lying to yourself. Like, sure, 
We've had two number one overall. That's not number one in the conference. That is number one in the country recruiting classes and essentially beat Boise State. And then I know some people are pumped up because we barely lost to Gonzaga, but like, you, sh- you shouldn't have We're been playing this. Gonzaga in the second round, given the team yeah. that you had. You should have been a top three seed Agreed. last year. So I think it's okay to be not okay with only one tournament appearance and say that we've underachieved, but also still support Penny and think that he's the right guy for the job. 